Good evening, everybody, wherever you're watching from, indeed. And it's a live show, definitely today. And we have managed to be here in United Kingdom. And our guest here today is absolutely our wonderful and amazing counselor here in United Kingdom. And for those that don't know, he is also Kenyan. Councillor Kenyeve, good evening from, um, uh, good evening today. Good evening, good evening, Juliet. How are you doing? Asante sana. I'm very fine. Um, and uh, thank you very much to every viewer that is watching. Uh, we do apologize for our hiccup earlier on. Um, this video, we sincerely thank you for watching. Uh, for everybody who is watching us um, across the whole world, uh, in particular today, uh, we thank uh, Mr. Olayomi Koiki, who has given us um, a, a quick backup um, a plan. So we are still learning, we're ladies. And thank you so much for your patience, uh, everybody. It's just clocked in 21.39. And I'm um, going to be a little bit loud. And uh, Councillor Kangeve, if you could also raise your voice uh, much, much more. But tonight we are specifically appreciating you. And of course, your, account, uh, your, your word in uh, backing. Um, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, Councillor Kangeve. Uh, I, I know you very well, and thank you for the work that, again, once again, you're doing in, um, um, in, in, in your ward, and especially um, he, with us Kenyans as well. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, like you said already, you've mentioned my name. I'm, I'm Councillor Elizabeth Kangeve. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a councillor in uh, Paslo's ward, which is in the London borough of Bucky and Dagenham. Yeah. I've been a councillor since 2010. I know, yeah. I was the mayor of Buckingham and Dagenham in 1415. Yeah. And currently, I am the chair of the full council assembly for the last three years mm -hmm. in the Buckingham and Dagenham. Mm -hmm. I'm, a speaker, I'm a motivational speaker, you know. So I do quite a lot, mm -hmm. you know, both the community and thank you for coming in at such a short notice we've had absolutely a wonderful uh, creating awareness and uh, it is important that we create awareness right down to our grassroots in um, 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 Kenya um, and um, the purpose for us uh, reaching out to you here in London um, is to make sure that we get Kenyans understanding about this um, issue about um, coronavirus and I know it's something that you also champion in your ward. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing in your ward around your area before we then go to what more can the diaspora be doing here in um, um, London as well. First of all, not just in my ward, this mm -hmm. is kind of everybody taking their own responsibility, mm -hmm. but us on an individual basis and as a family people are just taking part of all their own measures mm -hmm. because this is not a private thing it's something that really it's a national an international global issue mm -hmm. so for example now when the government are, are, are announced that uh, people need to to be indoors yeah obviously the first thing that we did was to make sure that we're not no offices are open in the council but we continue giving some of the essential services yeah for example, the whole day today, I've spent my day on the phone because we've got support. We're giving support to the vulnerable members of our, our community yeah. in terms of uh, supplying food, doing some shopping for them, medication. So in Barking and Dagenham, we've got a, a line that we're calling LBBD can, London Borough of Barking and Dagenham can. Yeah. And then I'm one of the buddies we've got volunteers whose job is just to call find out the needs of the people mm -hmm. so i've been spending the day doing that because i'm also supposed to self-isolate i'm supposed to stay indoors mm -hmm. but as much as i stay indoors yeah i have to support the much i can and that's what i've been doing thank you so much and well done to uh the borough of um uh, backing and Dagenham and all across um united kingdom we sincerely you know uh, we're doing our best we're following government guidelines and i know with all our councillors and councils, they are sending us all information. 
many many thanks for absolutely what you guys are doing as well and now we come back and we want to appreciate the people who are joining us in united um states and of course Thank you so much to the Women Empowerment Group. Thank you so much. Habari zenu tunawasalamia Women Empowerment Group. Kinaiva, kila mtu tunawasalamia. Now, um, we've had this campaign uh, coming from um, uh, uh, from uh, from from Kenya, which we are helping as um, the diaspora. Uh, and we want to continue to push. We've just to announce to you, we've just hit over 400,000 um, people have seen this um, um, a, a awareness that we are creating. And the message is um, wash your hands, um, social distancing, and of course, all the way in Kenya to quarantine. What more can um, Kenyans be doing, um, especially in the issue of social distancing? And first of all, can we try and help people to understand how they can observe social distancing, Councillor Kangede? Well, absolutely, very, very vital because it's not an option, really. Mm -hmm. It is not an option. We have to adhere to what the government has advised us mm -hmm. because health professionals know better. Yeah. And we're not just talking about that in Kenya, even here in Britain, where we are. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to stay safe. We need to remember to wash our hands. Yeah. We need to keep that social distance, which are absolutely people are not adhering to that. It's not just in Kenya. I mean, people need to listen. People need to do the right thing. That's Washing our hands, keeping the social distance. If you have to go out for whatever reason, maybe to buy some goodies, whatever it is, wearing the face masks, which are already available, using the sanitizer, you know, very, very important. And more so, keeping that social distance because you do not know who is a carrier. You could just be walking, with members of your party, you do not know who is a carrier, really. So the social distance is very, very vital. Thank you. Thank you for that. And just to add on that, social distancing is absolutely critical. And we've seen um, in Kenya um, uh, tonight here, yeah, thank you so much, someone is asking, yes, can we all hashtag Komesha Corona? Komesha Corona. Komesha Corona in Swahili, yes, Komesha Corona means in Swahili, uh stop coronavirus so we're trying to make sure that people understand the deadly disease this is an infectious disease and thank you for starting us off with this um um issue about um social distancing so basically we have seen that um kenya would love to carry that message right down on the grassroots and we are talking about social distancing and its importance and why this is very critical at this time just to help people to understand this is uh, an infectious disease and the reason people are being asked to observe the social distancing we want to make that very clear is because this virus has 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 is contagious and it um, it is um, when someone is a carrier, it um, it is a worse than influenza. It is worse than pneumonia. So keep your distance for now. Let this period um, pass. We are not going to go into um, explaining to you, do to you uh, as doctors. But what we are doing as community people is to make sure that you're aware that um, that we need to all be following um, uh, to be following uh, the social distancing that we are we are asked to do. Councillor Kangede, uh, in terms of um, Kenyans, because one of the issues in Kenya is they are talking about um, they have to go to the market. You know, everywhere has been asked about lock. lock you know, everywhere across the world is locked down. Are we able to give people a better understanding? here in from kenya that lockdown means that they also follow guidelines like the curfews are you able to talk a little bit about how the importance of following these guidelines of curfews is to the kenyan people thank you juliet actually just you know coming back to uk here you all know that when it comes to shopping you have the set hours and uh, when you go shopping in any supermarket, there is a distance that you have to keep, you know. One meter, that. one to two meters, yeah. Yes, the, the two meters. Mm -hmm. So, and 
because obviously people have to eat mm. if people have to go to the market like you're asking in kenya i think it's the same thing here keeping that social distance mm -hmm. which i think i think it's kind of really uh difficult mm. people have to do it because you either choose between going to the market and losing your whole family yeah. losing your life or staying indoors for a few days and then save lives because going to that market going out and not adhering to the government regulations means you are messing up with your life the life of other people because mm -hmm. it's spread the virus like you've said we've said it's spreading like wildfire mm -hmm. and it's very very difficult to tell who is a carrier mm -hmm. so I, I i think it's also the same thing like we're doing here set some time when people can do their shopping mm -hmm. then make sure that there is enough patrol and actually even without patrol i think it's just a matter of self-discipline mm -hmm. self -discipline, knowing very well that it just takes seconds and this virus catches you the minute you cut the virus you get back home spread it to your family your family goes out i mean it's just going like wildfire mm -hmm. so one thing that that self discipline is very very important mm -hmm. and uh, the curfew you did ask about the curfew in kenya i'm a bit concerned mm -hmm. that uh, the curfew is at night does it mean coronavirus just spreads during the night i mean i think it's a high time we got a total lockdown which has got its pros and cons i do understand i really very much sympathize with some of the people who who's main source of earning is maybe that the market like you're saying daily living that's how they earn their daily living but at the end of the day i think it's very important that we think just have that lockdown for two three weeks see how life goes see how things change i believe it's very very important that people understand this is not a joke Thank coronavirus you. is not a joke you just need to watch the videos in Spain, Italy, places, even here, Britain. Today, I think we've got up to over a thousand dead. A thousand dead. Mm. I was looking at the new hospital, the Nightingale Hospital, which mm. is very close to me. Mm -hmm. It's in East London. Mm -hmm. Four thousand seater and two mugs. What does that tell you? What are they preparing? Mm -hmm. People need to be very, very sensible. Mm -hmm. People need to keep those. People need to stay away. People need to wash their hands. Mm -hmm. People need to keep that social distance. Mm -hmm. It is very, very crucial that we listen and do what we have been told. It's not a joke. Mm -hmm. It's not a joke. Thank you so much. And um, for those who are watching us, we remember every family. We remember um, every person who has um, lost a loved one. We are thinking of you. We pray for you as well. And we take um, um, some moments there to think about every family across the whole world who is um, hard to be caught up with this disease. We ask um, people as community change makers to really take the government's um, headlines um, because um, each country has got different guidelines. So we ask you to follow um, the, the position in which your Ministry of Health has actually um, um, requested you as citizens. Let us have humility. Let us have humility and be disciples of um, a obedience because um, this is life and death. And this is why this disease is not just um, a law, but it's actually a public order law because it is to help us uh, manage as ourselves as, um, as human beings. So let's take those um, uh, calls, court of calls um, from across um, different governments very seriously because uh, we don't want to be losing people because of carelessness. We don't want to be losing people because of the uh, ignorance. Ignorance sadly um, um, can lose you uh, life. We want to stay healthy. If, um, if, if we can all be organized, as Councillor is saying, be organized, do your shopping as quickly as possible in Kenya, and then come back home. And um, definitely, we are saying, um, quarantine because at this position 
the best medicine as we are being told across the whole world is to stay at home and uh, ensure that we reduce and we intervene in these deadly um, infectious um, disease that is puzzling um, many, many people across the world. Um, in terms of how diasporians um, um, should be um, helping their families back home, what sort of advice would you ask the diasporians to be doing if they have not done that already, especially our Kenyans? Because um, tonight uh, we want to really, really go down. Komesha, our hashtag today, we are joining in to the Komesha Corona virus commercial coronavirus and councillor is also going to say that as well right commercial coronavirus yes. uh, juliet yes. um i believe people are doing their own bits mm -hmm. in their own way yeah. you know definitely like we always support but i also believe that the government should also be taking some further measures i know they are doing something like what is happening here because people have lost their jobs people have lost their businesses. In Kenya, there are those people who just rely on the, those daily you know, jobs that they do. I believe there's a lot that also the government can do to support people in terms of you know, their daily upkeep. You know, just maybe reduce things like the, 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 the cost of fuel, you know, those, those small bits that the government can do. And I believe also there is also some funding which has been set aside to help the very, very desperate people, mm -hmm. you know, because there are people who are really, really desperate. Look at what this government here in this country is doing. I know the money has not been released yet, but people, especially those in businesses or those who are not earning at the moment, the government has made arrangements to support those people. Mm -hmm. Because I will support my own family, you will support your own family. But there are also ways and means that diasporians can also come together mm -hmm. and find out how much, how they can help. Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, if we here are suffering, because there are people here who are going hungry. Mm -hmm. I told you, I've been a telephone buddy and I've been calling people. Mm -hmm. And I know that people who do not have a meal, mm -hmm. there are people who need support. Mm -hmm. So if we can happen out here, mm -hmm. what about home? Mm -hmm. What about that? So, what well, mm -hmm. people can get together, mm -hmm. like get together and support where they can. Mm -hmm. I believe there are even groups. I've seen groups of people contributing, buying those masks and sanitizers and food mm -hmm. for the people back home. Mm -hmm. But I believe there's so much more other than just educating people. Mm -hmm. Because I feel, uh, though we are calling for a total lockdown. Mm -hmm. A bit the cost telling people to stay indoors with nothing to eat, no food. Would be it's also the root of sharing. Mm -hmm. You know what we are doing here? We are giving advice to call your neighbors, your friends, your relatives, find out what they need and maybe support them. Back home, I believe people can also do the same because mm -hmm. you know the gap between the rich and the poor is so wide. We know that. Mm -hmm. So there are those people who have got a little bit more, and I believe the little bit more that they've got, they can share with their neighbors. Mm -hmm. It could be in terms of just foodstuffs, just a bag of wunga, mm -hmm. just making a bowl of beans, you know, sharing with the neighbors for now. Because if that does not happen, the neighbors will go for that. There's no way they're going to go hungry, knowing very well that I'm the neighbor and I've got food. They will come for me. So and thank you. And thank you. Neighbors. Thank you so much for those views. Those are uh, Councillor Kangebe's views and helping us to understand what more people can uh, be doing. Do you want to give a shout to people from your side, people who've joined you on your Facebook page over there? Give them a shout as well. Can you see them? The thing is, I can't see anybody. anybody okay. Is on my page. Right. But whoever is joining us, thank you ever so much. Right. I mean, let's continue and remember to pray for each other okay. because we believe we are people of faith okay. and we believe with God all things are possible. Okay. As much as you play your part, right. remember to pray, commit everything to the hands of God, pray for this whole country, okay. pray for our country back home, remember the families who have lost their loved ones. Right. So let's remember to pray for each other, right. remember to contact your friends and relatives, right. find out they are doing 
if you haven't heard from me, please make a point, call me, find out, encourage one another. These are difficult times, but we can make life easier for each other by just calling, sharing whatever we have. Right. You could just call and find that all I needed is a phone call for mm -hmm. you to encourage me. Right. And some people sometimes need some food. Okay. You know, just let's share, let's be our brother's keeper. This is the best time to be our brother's keeper. But remember, with God, all things are possible and God loves us so much. He's got the whole world in his hands. And indeed, and you've just reminded me, women empowerment group, loads of women joined in and they danced and we said he's got the whole world. And uh, thank you so much to Wamboy Njau for he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his world. He's got the whole world in his hands. Thank you. And um, I would love to thank you, Kathy, Lydia, Juliet, the camera is back. You say, yes, we're having technical problem today, but the sound is good. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Koiki, for telling us the sound is good. We tried our best. We have been struggling. And thank you for letting us know that Facebook has changed its um, its um, setting. Um, just one more thing about Some of the friends. Can you see any of the friends? Give uh, a shout out to I am I don't want to touch anything. I can see so many people coming in, but I don't want to move anything because if I do, then we will lose. Yes, but what we're gonna do, we thank every single person all across Kenya, all across United um um uh, uh, UK who has joined us. Thank you so much to people from America. I'd love to thank uh, Dr. Um, uh, uh, Isaac Gitao, who has supported yeah. the campaign for We Shall Overcome, and we have now reached the number, uh, Councillor Kangeve, who is also the deputy uh, president of uh, here in United Kingdom for DNA or the Diaspora Net uh, National um, uh, Assembly. Um, so joining in here tonight is our wonderful um, councillor, amazing councillor who's joined in, in the campaign and um, bringing it, we want to reach this. We have got a campaign. We are saying share to every 20 people, ensure that people are social distancing, social distancing, social distancing, because when you are alive, ourselves here back here in the diaspora, we are able to celebrate and we are able to continue to join hands. We want to thank our president, His Excellency, uh, President um, Honorable um, uh, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, and of course the First Lady for joining in in the campaign, and the Ministry of Health and all the cabinet ministers that have joined in this campaign. Many, many thanks, Councillor Kengede, for coming on board and supporting us over here as well in our uh, United Kingdom and ensuring that people also, we push this agenda that uh, Komesha coronavirus. Remember, Komesha, Corona, you play your part, the government plays its part, and God for us all. Thank you so much. So it's a hashtag. We join in on the Komesha coronavirus. And also, we are also hashtagging um, we shall overcome. We are also hashtagging um, uh, we are also hashtagging stop coronavirus KE, standing for Kenya. Can I appreciate um, a, a honorable um, uh, Rachel Kamweru? I'm also going to appreciate uh, Winnie uh, Mokami, and I'm also um, loving the designer who has also done all these wonderful um, uh, leaflets. Uh, we thank you so much for the work that you're doing uh, from Kenya, and thank you so much to absolutely every single person that has shared. Uh, we appreciate all the pastors. We thank you for this time, and uh, we thank your husband, who is also a pastor here in um, London. Um, uh, we, 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 we thank him so much for the work that you guys are doing. We want to unite. We want people to come in on board. We want every single diasporian here in United Kingdom to spread the word back to their families. Social distancing is absolutely critical at this time. Social distancing, our call here tonight, myself and Councillor Kangede, our call here tonight, pick your phone up. If you've not picked up your phone, and called your family member. Today is the day that you pick up the call and you pick up and you say to your family, social distancing is a must.
please keep safe. Thank you so much, Councillor. I, I think that you can expand on that. Thank you very much, Juliet. It's the same thing, the same message of measure corona, but everybody playing their part, social distance, washing your hands, keeping safe, stay at home, stay at home. And if you have to travel, if you have to move, keep that social distance. But Kenya, radical steps have to be taken if we have, because you're lucky, you haven't reached where we are now. By today, I think Kenya had about 50 deaths. We have over a thousand. Kenyans, you're lucky, you have the right time, you have the right message, take the measures, let it be radical measures before it's too late. You are lucky you haven't reached where we are. May I appreciate, yeah. Thank you so much. Commercial Corona. Commercial Corona, yeah, in Kenya, that means that stop the spread of coronavirus. Thank you so much. May I also say thank you so much to uh, 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 Mr. Buana, um, Isaac Ngatia, who is uh, the community leader of uh, Slau and uh, Feltam. Asanteni sana kwa kazi ambayo mnaifanya pale um, uh, in, uh, in, in the area of Feltam and Heathrow. Please, all community leaders, we must join in this campaign. Every single community leader, your councillor is also here suggesting the same thing. If you're a, a community leader, Kina, every single person, I will not even begin to mention names. The Southeast to Nawaita, to Naita Watu wa, wa, wa East London, to Naita Watu wa Southeast, to Naita Watu wa, wa North London, of course, and Kina Edi, all of you, uh, and every uh, leader, do your part. We are asking that every single person, how many are we in the diaspora? Everybody can reach a home. Everybody. Everybody is a leader. Everybody Julius, can. Everybody is a leader in their own way. So if everybody takes their part, everybody play their role, everybody take yourself as a leader in your own way. Don't wait for anybody to come to you. Thank and you. I also want to shout out to all the pastors and bishops who are doing a big, a great job here. Mm -hmm. I know they already have their own uh, podium where I know because of my husband, yeah. they are praying, they are getting in touch, Amen. And they are doing a commendable job. Thank you. Even they are, they are sitting overnight praying, they've got their own way, conferencing, communicating, you know, sharing. So we also need to remember them. They are doing their own jobs. And can we also play our part, like I say, so that we can commercial this thing. Commercial Corona Kenya. And thank you. Once again, you're hearing from uh, Councillor Kangeve right down here. London time is just hit 22.05 right here in London. And many, many thanks uh, again for joining us, for joining the campaign and ensuring that uh, we are able to play our role. Most of all as well, we want to um, say thank you to every single Kenyan. Thank you so much to every single Kenyan that is obeying the rules in place. I cannot forget to say that. I want to appreciate your efforts for doing your best to observe the legal um, importance of what we have all been asked and everybody across the world. So we join in this campaign. We join in WHO, we join in um, a social quarantine, social isolation, practicing every single thing um just one more thing the healthcare sector are we ready in kenya in our healthcare facilities what do you think we need in all the hospitals councillor kangebe i think uh, they are doing their best bearing in mind this this wasn't anything that were really well prepared for but i think more should be done mm -hmm. i had over the news today there's one clinical officer who passed on today oh dear. and it's even here i mean even here it's, it's happening because they are the people who are getting directly into direct contact with the uh with the the, the, the patients but uh, i believe more needs to be done one this health practitioners need to be educated more they need to be equipped they need to be given the proper gear mm -hmm. before they go and face the patient because they are really doing a lot they are sacrificing their lives for us mm -hmm. even here remember last thursday we had a club everybody went on their balconies their doors just to appreciate them yeah, 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 but I believe, 
I believe also in Kenya, more needs to be done. Yeah. Get the people, get the proper gears for the health professionals, make sure they are well equipped with the knowledge of how to handle this. Yeah. Because if a health professional is affected, the clinical officers, the nurses, they take back to their homes, they spread in the whole you know, village. So it's very, very dangerous. And I think Kenya is doing okay. I, I, I'm listening and uh, the local leaders, I, I really, I'm really keen. I follow so much of what happens in Kenya. Yeah. The local leaders are doing the best they can in terms of sending the sanitizers to the local villages, the yeah. supermarkets, you know, the big markets and all that. And the but campaign, more, just to let, just to let you know, the campaign that we are running actually, um, the pipelines have actually supplied the waters in uh, in the water. The, the tankers that people are actually seeing across the whole country. We want to appreciate every sponsor as well in Kenya who has supplied their tanks and who has um, given um, um, even the the, the, the the soaps so that we are able to contain and put um, washing up places, Namitungi and whatever. Many thanks for that. Um, in hospitals, may I also just quickly add that every hospital, not just in Kenya, but across the whole of Africa. Let us learn to improve all our healthcare systems across the whole Africa so that we are not just coming in in case of emergency, and then that is when we are rushing. But let us prepare ourselves in terms of um, management disasters. Let us improve all our clinical guidelines across the whole country. These are our hospitals. and. Um, we know that the government, and with your help and the big agenda for uh, the Excellency President um, Mugai Kenyatta, um, is, is, is one of the biggest thing is, um, and you know we love you, this is why we say what we're saying, is um, to improve the healthcare system in across uh, our country. We thank you for the national um, health, um, uh, is it the uh, NHI, um, is it N NHI, NHI. yes. Yes, that yeah. you have started, that Kenyans are beginning to be able to go and uh, to the hospital. But this um, disease is something else. Is what we are seeing it uh, in Christian terms is a bit demonic uh, disease, you know. So uh, quote me for that. Um, so please, Kenyans, let us um, not wait to get ill and let us take these um, matters very seriously. Um, myself and Councillor Kangede here. And um, um, she reached, uh, I, 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 we, we are absolutely uh, crying out uh, just to bring you these um, conversations, discussions, because we love you, we want you to keep. And tonight, it's all about social distancing. We thank you for washing your hands. We thank you so much. We appreciate every single one of you for washing your hands and disinfecting, you know, washing regularly your hands. But now we want you to extend that to Kumbuka, you, kum, you remember the next neighbor. So every time you're going to the shop, Kenyans, let us explain a little bit myself. We'll go deeper just a little bit before we pen off here tonight. Munaenda, when you get your queue properly, give your, um, your neighbor or your, the customer, give them space, one meter to two meters as we are walking so that we are able to control this disease. We are asking you, to kindly obey these rules so that you don't call us here uh, to say you want money because even here we are locked down. Remember, we are locked down. So please, you know, if somebody is not telling you that, <laughs> counselor, I think I had to mention oh, that. <laughs> we are not working, we are indoors. We are indoors, so and please, actually, please. And actually, even the money will not help at this time. Thank How you. Do you use the money? Thank money you. Money is not helping now, it's not helping. Thank you. So, all we need is to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves, yeah. washing our hands, keeping the social distance, you know, isolating yourself, absolutely, not sitting in big crowds, yeah. not you know, this is not the time to socialize, really. And socialize uh, with your own family back home, stay at home. Also, just to um, ask Kenyans to obey the police as well, let us respect our police officers as well. Let's touch on that. Um, our police officers give them an easy time. They've also got families, so we are asking you to respect um, the announcements from the government, and we thank you all. Thank you so much uh, once again to Koiki for joining us, to helping us to get this um, audio at least. 
We've managed with that Mr. Koiki, king of social media, and this was backup plan. We had to use our backup plan, and we sincerely want you. Our action call here tonight, please, we'll, we'll share some uh, photos, and please share that photo to 20 people. Our action call here tonight, share the photos of wash your hands. The second message is social distancing, and the third message is you self quarantine or self isolate those are the three things we are leaving you with tonight and to me and councillor kangede asante sana we love women empowerment we love the work that everybody is doing we love the cabinet ministers in kenya and thank you so much for every single person who has joined here tonight i have seen ghana i've seen nigeria i have seen united states is watching us and of course thank you so much once again Dr. Isaac Hitao, who has taken the campaign at another level. We thank yeah, the people. Absolutely. And we have now reached, I'm told, we've reached, we've clocked 4, 475,000 people. Amen to that. Let the message arrive every single corner. We have started campaigns in Botswana, in Nigeria, everywhere. We have to reach to uh, the whole of Africa. We must speak to our people. We have to speak to our people. Councillor Kangede, I love you. Many, many thanks for joining at such yeah, a short you. time. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you so much, Julia. Thank, Thank you, you to everybody who tuned in. Thank you to everybody who was watching. Spread the word like we said. It's not about me. It's yeah. not about Julia. It's about each us. one of us. We want to see you healthy tomorrow. We want to build a better nation tomorrow. Absolutely. But we can only do that if we do what is being asked of us. Thank you. We want you health. Please keep safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Commercial Corona. Stay safe. Isolate yourself. Wash your hands. Keep that social distance. I love you all. I love you. God bless. God bless you. And you're hearing from me as well. That was Councillor Kanyeze. Um, for Paslo Ward here in Barking, and my name is your one and only African Wonder Woman, Juliet Mahapila. Just hold on, I should do my African Wonder Woman as well. Indeed, it's right down there. African Wonder Woman, right down here with our wonderful and amazing counselor. We got hold of her, and many, many thanks for joining. It's a good night from me. And yes, Esther, I have seen you. Ezi, I have seen you waving. Asanteni Sana. Please help us share this message. Share, 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 everybody. Share the message. Join the campaign, social distance. We leave you with three things again. Thank you so much to Ministry of Health. Um, we leave you washing hands. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't forget to social distance. And don't forget to self-quarantine. If you're from Kenya, if you're from London, we're being asked to self-isolate. And let's follow all the guidelines. It's a good night for me. And he speaks to Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye.